Hello everybody! Welcome to Andrea's book channel. I'm Andrea and I'm going to do a review today. Welcome to the World Baby Girl by Fanny Flagg. Now if you don't know who Fanny Flagg is, um, you might know one of her movies. Uh, there was a movie based on one of her books. It was called Fried Green Tomatoes and the book that that was based on was called Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Uh, here's a picture of Fanny Flagg. I don't know how well you can see it. So usually, I've read, I don't know, maybe five or six Fanny Flagg books. She's not my typical, uh, she's not my, I should, shouldn't say she's not my typical book that I read, writer that I read, but like I, when I tend to read a book that's really stressful or has, um, like if I read too many Stephen King books, let's just say. <laughs> Then afterwards, I like to read a Fanny Flagg book because it kind of, it's very, she writes, most of the stuff she writes, most of, most of the books she writes, the they're set in small towns in the South, and they're full of uh, interesting, loving, kind characters, or at least, in, you know, some of them are just interesting. Uh, this book at first, and so I like that, so it feels like, oh, you're coming home, you're having some apple pie or whatever, you're having a nice, just a nice relaxing read. Well, oh, first of all, when I first read this book, there's two prefaces in it, and she talks about um, Neighbor Dorothy, which when I first read this, I thought, Maybe I had read this book before, but what I had read was, I think it was Standing in the Rainbow. And I didn't realize it, but Standing in the Rainbow is the second book in the series. I didn't know it was a series. So even, even thinking about the book, it's not really a series. They're just connected. At least that's the way it seems to me. So at first, I would say the first maybe 75 to 100 pages, I was not liking the book very well because the main character, um, I think her name's Dina Nordstrom. Is that what it is? It doesn't say here. Anyway, the main character, she seems very selfish and uh, shallow type person and it wasn't at all what I was used to. But as the book progresses, it's like she's trying to figure out who she is. She doesn't, she doesn't have, like, she, she only remembers her mother, and her mother wasn't with her the whole time. Like, she doesn't know where she comes from. She, she knows some distant cousins, and that's it. And the book does go to some places where you don't expect it to go. So there are surprises in it. And at the end, you know, you feel pretty good because it has a happy ending, like most of her books do. So I would recommend it. It's, like I said, it's, it's, it's different from her other books. If you've never read anything by Fanny Flagg, then I think one of my favorite ones is called Redbird Christmas. And it's, it's really, it's pretty short. It's maybe, maybe two thirds of the size of this. This isn't that big. This is... 396 pages. Well, maybe that's a lot. I don't know if that's a lot. So that's my book review for today. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you read this book, uh, what you thought about it. I'm not sure if I should start doing book reviews where I actually go into spoilers or not. Sometimes I feel like I should. Like when I read the, well, I, I, I read some books and put them on my main channel. I think I only have one or two reviews on my main channel, and I don't know if I should move them here or not, but the one I really wanted to go into detail about, and I didn't, because you never know what to do about spoilers. So if you have an opinion about that, let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments. And thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you soon.